Hey YouTube, I'm back at it again with another book review, and this book review is on Shameless Hoodwives by Misha Mink and Denisha Diamond, and this is a sequel to Desperate Hoodwives, and I give this book 4 out of 5 stars, and it is about 4 characters, Takia, Princess, Keisha, and Woo Woo, and it starts off with a character named Keisha, and she's basically dealing with her husband, Smokey, who's a crack addict, and she just doesn't know what to do. She loves her husband, but when is enough? Um, she's been with him since high school, and, you know, she was a once addicted to crack, but she got help and got off it, and, you know, he's is still on it and he steals stuff from the house, the pond, so he can get money to get crack and they have four kids together and it's just horrible. And his brother Shakespeare, you know, he's basically the brother's keeper and he's always there to, you know, help his brother and, you know, get him out of jail when he's in jail and stuff like that. And, you know, Keisha starts to see how Shakespeare is and starts to like him and, you know, they start to have an affair and it just gets very interesting. And with Princess, she's a 17-year-old girl and she lives with her mom and her mother is not a mother. She there's barely food in the house. She hardly buys her daughter clothes. She has guys in and out of the apartment and some a lot of them abuse and molest and rape the princess and it was just, it's just a horrible story and basically her only out is her voice she can sing and she writes in journals and her best friend lucky is always there for her listen to her problems you know it's always good to have a best friend but you know, stuff happens and Princess ends up fending for herself and, you know, it sucks to go through what she goes through. And then there's a character named Woo Woo and basically she's from Bentley Manor, was in the hood, you know, braids, long nails, big earrings, stuff like that. But when she met Reggie, he was from the suburbs, so she kind of changed her appearance a little bit. And, you know, she wasn't true to herself, so it was an uncomfortable, uncomfortable situation for her. And, you know, she started messing with a guy that was in Bentley Manor named Hassan. She was cheating on Reggie with him. And it's just a tough situation because, you know, she has a guy who treats her well. But she's just something about Hassan that she can't give up so you see her sneaking around Bentley Manor to have a fair with Hassan and then you know going home to her husband and then there's also a character named Takia and she's basically running away from her husband slash pimp who's just abusive and she's also a crack addict so she goes to Bentley Manor to try to hide and stay with her grandmother Cleo and it's just her dealing with her addiction and you know dealing with trying to take care of her daughter and her grandmother has her in church and you know the pastor isn't what he supposed to be and you know he has his little secrets too so you find out a lot it's a lot of drama I definitely re recommend this book if you've read the first one and you like it I definitely say check this one out